Hello, welcome to a first look at 3D in After Effects. So currently you can see I've got this spiral and I've got the position and scale. Now when you make it a 3D layer by pressing this button here, I'll just show you the tooltip, it essentially adds a couple of points to your anchor point, your position, your scale, and you've also got orientation, X, Y, Z rotation as well. So it lets you do more things, right? So here you can see something interesting. The position, uh, the scale is not changing, right? So it's, it's always the same size, right? So as the Z position increases, we head towards the center. As the Z position decreases, we start to go off the screen. Okay, so we've got the three spirals here. Now a good way to look at it is you've got the red X. That's a good way. So red X and blue Z. So you can see how that works, right? Uh, and then Y is the other. So you have basically a bunch of different uh, modes here, different camera views. So you can see that if the default view, again, like I say, as it increases, it goes towards the middle, and as it decreases, it goes towards the edge. Uh, that won't affect the front view, though. And that's because uh, the front and back view are not actually going to take any notice of the Z value. So the front and back view are like, they're, they're kind of like a camera, like an indeterminate distance away. So they just don't see depth, right? So I can do this in the front. Or the back view and they're not seeing that they only respond to these two right you can see yep and that's basically how these views work you've got six views right the front and back will only see x and y and the left and right you can see because object it's not 3d real 3d in this so left and right uh so if you imagine what left and right is it's x so if you're facing it, uh, it's going to be only Y and Z be affected. Same with right. Yeah, and that's the way to look at it. You look at what this with what this means in terms of the axis, and you know that left and right means X, right? So you know that if you're if you're perpendicular to it, it's only going to affect Y and Z. So we could say the same for. Um, uh, top and uh, top and bottom, right? So if we go look, think of the line going through the top and the bottom or something. You can see that's the Y line, right? So we we're looking perpendicular onto it, so only X and Z. We also have some funky views as well here, like these sort of like angular views, which are kind of cool. We're going to look a lot more into three D as we continue along. Uh, this is this is really just like a first little step into doing some things and sort of like uh yeah it should be pretty fun it should be pretty fun so until next time thanks for watching